Back in June, I did something that I thought might have been my biggest tech blunder. I bought the Galaxy Book for Edge. Why was I calling myself stupid? Well, instead of going with an Intel or AMD laptop, I jumped on the whole Windows and ARM thing. But you know what? It's been about five months now and I have some thoughts about if I actually was dumb or if I, well, was onto something. Cheers from Sweden and welcome to my channel. I post videos about being productive on your Samsung devices, so if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe for more. You know what's fascinating with technology? How it evolves right in your hand. Take my Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge for instance. The laptop sitting on my desk today is quite different from the one I unboxed in, in June. Not physically, of course, but in terms of performance and uh, capability. Let me paint a picture of what I'm working with here. I went for the 14-inch model, which sports this gorgeous 3K AMOLED screen. Trust me, once you see how colors pop on this anti-reflective touchscreen, it's hard to look at regular displays the same way. Under the hood, there's the Snapdragon X Elite X1e8100 CPU. And yes, it's being in an ARM CPU, which is pretty significant. And it's paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 512 gigabytes of storage. And for everyone interested, you hardly hear the fan this is a very quiet laptop. Now you might wonder why I didn't go with the 16 inch version instead. It actually comes down to one detail that might seem minor, but makes a huge difference in daily use. The keyboard layout. The 16 inch version comes with a numpad that shifts everything to the left, including the touchpad. I tried adopting this setup on my previous Galaxy Book 3 Pro, but it just never felt right. Pun intended. Speaking of daily use, the build quality is impressive. Despite using this laptop uh, literally every single day since purchase, it still looked fresh out of the box. The touchpad is quite quirky. You can't click everywhere, but tapping works across the entire surface. Would a haptic touchpad be better? Probably. But that's a what if for another day. The speakers, they are surprisingly good. Though they work best with the laptop on the solid surface, since they are downward firing. They can get quite loud, if that's your thing. When it comes to the battery, well, Here's where it gets quite interesting. The battery life has actually improved since I first got the laptop. Windows updates, driver improvements, and optimized applications have all contributed to this. I recently switched to the dark mode can't say for sure if that has improved the battery life 
but it sure looks sleek. While I'm not getting the advertised 24 hours, I can work through most of a day doing research and writing in, in Obsidian. The software experience has been largely positive. Whether apps are ARM native or not, most things just work smoothly. Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Outlook, Spotify, Obsidian, they all work without any hiccups. I also done some coding in Visual Studio and Python. And from what I can see, it works pretty good. Since I got this laptop, I've done all my video editing on it and I've been using CapCut. Now it's been quite a journey with CapCut. When I first installed it back in June, it was a mess. But with the latest version, it's like using a whole new application. The GUI glitches are gone, exports are much faster, and editing is actually enjoyable now. There's just one quirk remaining. The built-in updater doesn't work. My workaround is uh, uninstalling and reinstalling from the Microsoft Store periodically. Not ideal, but given how much the app has improved, I can live with it. What started as a promising but slightly rough around the edges experience has evolved into a reliable daily driver. And CapCut is just an example of how software updates and optimizations can transform a device over time. And that's the thing with reviews on YouTube. Most reviews are done when the device is uh, hot and interesting. And then there's nothing. Usually that's not a problem. But I think when it comes to these Windows and ARMS laptops, so much has happened since when they were released. What was then is not always the same now. As mentioned in the beginning, I took a chance with the whole Windows on ARM thing. But I think I'm actually onto something. At least if you can oversee some of the quirks that still exists. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a lovely day. Bye!